In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who know the great courage of the glorious martyrs Nereus and Achilles in confessing you may experience their loving intercession for us in your presence. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium and turned the people against the apostles. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the town, thinking he was dead. The disciples came crowding around him, but as they did so, he stood up and went back to the town. The next day he and Barnabas went off to Derby, having preached the good news in that town and made a considerable number of disciples. They went back through Lystra and Iconium to Antioch. They put fresh heart into the disciples, encouraging them to persevere in the faith. We all have to experience many hardships, they said, before we enter the kingdom of God. In each of these churches, they appointed elders and with prayer and fasting, they commanded them, commended them to the Lord, in whom they had come to believe. They passed through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia, and after proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia, and from there sailed for Antioch, where they had originally been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On their arrival, they assembled the church and gave an account of all that God had done with them. Now he had opened the door to faith, of faith, to pagans. They stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendor of your name. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendor of your name. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting your rule lasts from age to age. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendor of your name. Let me speak the praise of the Lord, that all mankind bless his holy name for ages and ever. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendor of your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It was ordained that the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I bequeath to you, my own peace I give you, a peace the world cannot give. This is my gift. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You hear me say, I'm going away and shall return. If you loved me, you would have been glad to know that I am going to the Father. 
for the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe. I shall not talk with you any longer, because the Prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me, but the world must be brought to know that I love the Father, and that I am doing exactly what the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As you said, today we celebrate a couple of martyrs, Nereus and Achilleus, who were Roman soldiers, Praetorian guards under Emperor Trajan, who died around the year 304. Pope Dam Damasus wrote a brief tribute to the martyrs and explained that Nereus and Achilleus were converted to the Christian faith and they left behind their weapons forever and became true followers of Jesus Christ, even at the cost of their own lives. Nereus and Achilleus were sent into exile to the island of Terracina and they were there beheaded. King Pancras was a 14-year-old orphan who lived at the same time was killed on the same day. He became a follower of Jesus and was baptized, and although he was just a boy, he was arrested for the crime of being a Christian. Pancras refused to give up his faith, and for that he was sentenced to death. He became a very popular martyr in the early church. People admired him for being so young and so brave. In 596, the famous missionary, St. Augustine of Canterbury, who was the one who went to bring Christianity to England. When he came there, he named his first church after St. Pancras. In the Gospel today, Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my own peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. And he adds, Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. It is this peace that consoles and strengthens the martyrs in their trials and sustains them as they were able to give their lives and witness to him, and do so peacefully. This peace, his gift to us, is what he gives to us today. Peace, or shalom, was used several times by Jesus when he appears to his disciples after the resurrection. He called several times, he says, peace be with you. One writer notes that originally shalom meant soundness of body, but it came to signify perfect happiness and the liberation which the Messiah was expected to bring. David West tells the story of a king who offered a prize to the artist who could best paint the picture of peace. So the best picture that signified peace. And many artists throughout the kingdom tried and after a few months they went to him with all of their pictures. The king looked at all the pictures and some of them were quite beautiful. But there were two that he really liked and he had to choose between them. One was of a calm lake and the lake was a perfect mirror for the peaceful mountains that were all around it. Overhead there was a blue sky with fluffy white clouds. Everyone who saw this picture thought that this was a perfect picture of peace. The other picture also had mountains, but they were rugged and bare and rocky, no trees in them. And above them was an angry sky from which rain fell and lightning played. It staggered flashes onto the rocky mountains. And down the side of the mountain tumbled a Forming waterfalls splashing all over the rocks, hardly peaceful at all, at all. But when the king looked more closely at the picture, he saw that behind the waterfall there was a tiny bush growing in a crack in the rock. In the bush, a mother bird had built her nest, and there, in the midst of the rush of angry water and the streaks of lightning and the storm and rain, sat that mother bird on her nest in perfect peace. And the king chose the second picture because, as he explained, Peace does not mean to be in a place where there is no noise, no trouble, no hard work, no difficulty. Peace means to be in the midst of all of those things and still be calm in your heart. That is the real meaning of peace. Peace for Jesus is not simply the absence of violence. It is something much more positive, much deeper. And it can exist side by side with times of great turmoil. It is something internal, not external. And it comes from a inner sense of security of a conviction, a surety that God is with us and there is no need to be afraid. He is with us even during the most troublesome, difficult, heartbreaking times of our life. Sisters and brothers, let us not be troubled. Let us not be afraid. Let us be at peace and always trust that Jesus Christ our Lord is always with us. In the name of the Father.
Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Son has made me for Heavenly Father all the things that we have. We pray for the church or the world, for Holy Father, for Francis, for Archbishop Jason, for bishops, priests, and deacons. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all of those who are sick or are suffering in any way. Seem to lift up all the victims of COVID 19, all those who are suffering from it right now, even those in our own country for their healing. We pray also for healing for Steve Chin. George Tanshun, Monica St. Rose, Father Peter Delalisi, Norman Heller, Lillian Alexander, Danny Zamora, Tatiana Jova, and Andre Walker, Lord Harris, Lord Gracious Harris. Continue to lift up all of our essential workers, all of our healthcare workers, all of our doctors and nurses and tech workers, those who are working um, to bring an end to this uh, pandemic and those who are dealing with the victims. We pray, Lord, for graces upon them, that they may experience your peace, your patience, uh, your healing hand. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For the repose of the souls of Omiti Raghunanan, for Kevin Tanchu, who is with Jimmy's today, Clara Nanton, Ansel Pereira, Monica Gonzalez, Lynn Hill, and for all who have been affected by that died as a result of COVID-19. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For God's birthday blessings upon Ronald uh, Woodruff and Arlene Alexander and Patricia Oliver and all those who come today is a special day. Lord Harris, Lord gracious Harris. We pray for the special intentions of Alicia Stevens and the St. Joseph Convent classes 2K and 3N. God's blessings upon them and for all who are studying. Lord Harris, Lord gracious Harris. Continue to pray for vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life, especially to our karma and way of life. We pray for our students, Marlon, Jonathan, and Greg, and David David from our cluster, as well as for Mikhail, Paul, and Jeff as they prepare for their ordination to the priesthood this month. We pray that they all may be holy and exemplary in peace, and always priests and always know the peace um, that only Jesus Christ can bring. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear for all the needs that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We unite these prayers to those of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, we ask that you hear these prayers that you make, for we make them with trust and confidence in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and God. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Graces and brothers, let my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and good of all in this holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the Holy Martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, be found steadfast in confessing your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Be glorified when your saints are praised. The very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grow on firm resolve, and in their strength the, vic the struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and of earth, sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we affirm. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, and all clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Especially, we pray for Omiti Raghunana, Kevin Tatu, Paranante, Ansel Pereira, Monica Gonzalez, Lynn Hayward, and all the departed members of the Arnold and Tatu family. Welcome them into the light your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, St. Nereus, Achilleus, Pancras, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, bring the merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and worth him and in him O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we praise Jesus told us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Absorb each other this time. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Now do our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy song. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually. as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated. Sanctify my heart, body of my spirit, thou my saviness, even my wounds, hide and shelter me, 
Love's coming. O God, when your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously ground the drawing strength from the sacrifice, and they cling faithfully to Christ, and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now see the session of St. Michael for an end to this pandemic. As we pray, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the state of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God is training, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, go us down to hell, Satan, and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining us again. See you tomorrow at 7. Encourage you to stay home, stay safe, and be careful.